Hi, it's me, Brady. If you haven't been here before, well, this is my grip truck. It's not my grip truck. I think we rented it from CFG Rentals. That could be wrong. I'll put it down below. But anyway, a lot of you guys have asked about a uh, grip truck tour, and I figured that it's about time that while I've got about three minutes to spare, I'll give you guys a quick grip truck tour. So. A lot of the times, every grip truck is going to be pretty standard. This here is a one ton grip truck. You can get like a one ton, a four ton, a two ton, different varieties of different amounts of things essentially. But I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of what you're going to kind of expect to see in a grip truck if you were to rent it out. And you know, a few things of what they do and what they are. So let's go ahead and dive in to my grip truck and watch your head. All right. so. This one is cool where you can stand. So that's always fun. But first right here, you've got a variety of flags. So these are four by four flags or floppies because they've got this little floppy here. You've seen me use them all the time on the channel. So you've got a couple of these and let's see, let's throw these out of the way. You've got some ultra bounce and stuff like that. So you can bounce some material off of that white there. That's always fun as well. You've just got a variety of different light modifiers. This looks like it's half grid as well. And then you can see you've got nets, you've got some white bead boards to bounce, so on and so forth. So you're gonna get a variety of usually four by fours of these, nets, bounce, bunch of modifiers, diffusions. Now you've got a bunch of these apples. They don't taste as good as the apples you get in the grocery store, but they are organic. So full apple box is right here. That's gonna be kind of your big one. You'll use it as a bench seat. It's a uh, good to stack things up on, you know, get props higher in the scene and hide things like that. Then looks like we've got a half apple right here. It's all in a measurement scale. You get a full apple. You can see a half apple, it's half of that. And then look at this, you get a quarter apple. Now we're switching up food groups. We're going to a pancake. That's this little guy. Don't know exactly why, I guess it's because it looks like a pancake. So that's a good scale of measurement. I always use different ones if I need different heights on things. Sometimes I'll put little things on this or we'll start to get into these uh, clips and clamps and stuff. A lot of the times I'll use a pancake and put a cardellini onto here. This is a cardellini. Put that on there, bam. Then you got a little baby pin that's right up there. You can mount lights on it on the floor. A lot of the times I'll do that just like, you know, that kind of deal. So let's get into these here. We've got a variety of clamps in here. You get a C clamp because it's shaped like a C. Again, you got these baby pins on it. You clamp it to things. You might want to use wood cribbing so to avoid these from, uh, you know, cracking things or, you know, denting stuff. You've got a cardellini end jaw right here as opposed to a center jaw here. You can see that the jaw is in the center. The jaw is on the end. There you go. There's your differences. What else do we got in here? A lollipop. Doesn't taste like one, but it looks like one. This is pretty much just putting in a junior pin and giving you the ability to put flags in here. And there you go. And here we've got a duck bill, a platypus, a stupid clamp. There's a few different names for that. A lot of the times I'll put beadboard in there. It doesn't work like that. But I'll clamp in the beadboard and I'll use a white balance on a shadow side of a subject. Got a couple more things in here. This here is a Mafer clamp, very similar to a Cardellini. Works kind of the same way, just different mounting solution, but at the end of the day, you've got the baby pin up there. This is supposed to be on a C-stand, but this is a grip head. Um, this is a baby nail on. Baby nail on is what I call it because it is a baby pin. And it's got holes in it because you can nail it on and then mount a light anywhere you desire. So that's a couple of things that are in there. We're not gonna go through everything. This one here, just roller wheels, honestly. I haven't used them yet all week. What do we got in here? Bunch of rags and speed rail clamps. Speed rail clamps aren't as important, but you're gonna have some, some elbows and ears. These are for our four by four frames, six by six frames. So you just put this on the pipe and then this can go into the C-stand knuckle and then you can adjust it from there. But that leads us to the rags. You're just gonna have a variety of rags here. Rags meaning the diffusion material. Uh, you've also got nets and solids. So this is a six by six single net. You'll use this to stop down some light if it's too bright. An eight by eight silent full grid. So that's another layer of diffusion. Eight by eight, meaning it's eight feet by eight feet. Silent full grid is just a diffusion type. Can't go through all the diffusion types in this video, but nice to know you've got the options. You're gonna get a variety of stands here. This little, uh, you know, baby, baby combo. It, there's a name for it, I don't know what it is. It's pretty much a junior receiver and a baby pin all in one cute little stand. And then we've got bigger versions of this. This is a three riser combo stand. 
you've got a junior pin up top, just like that hole there. And there you go. So there's stands, that's good for big lights, heavy lights, things that are gonna tip over easily. A Couple more things here that I wanna show you guys off too. Make yourselves comfortable. We got behind this, we've just got more four by fixed frames. Just like these, they give you options, they give you a variety of them. It's good to go through the list that you've got in your uh, grip list when you rent the vehicle. Step ladders, because these come in handy. Uh, you know, self-explanatory. We got a bunch of sandbags, because sandbags are safe and important and helpful. So we got a bunch of different sandbags here. Again, self-explanatory. And then you've got another cart here with a variety of C-stands. Typically they'll come with like eight to 10 C-stands. And yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't think there's really anything much more to say. This is a pretty fun grip truck. I always have fun in them. So let's head on out of here, MTV. Well, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. I got to get going today. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, I'll see you in the next one. If not, well. Oh shit, it's dark in here. Can you open this?